Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of years ago, as you may well remember, Windows updates used to be called things like the Fall Creators Update, the Spring Creators Update, the Anniversary Update, and so on. And if you have ever wondered why Microsoft stopped using those Windows version names for different updates, then just to let you know that Microsoft veteran Raymond Chen has shared some light on the matter and shared some interesting information, which I found very interesting, so I thought I'd just share it with the rest of you. Now, over and above the monthly updates that roll out for Windows, known as your cumulative updates, we used to get two bigger updates, feature updates, twice a year rolling out for Windows 10. And that's how it was when I first started this channel, which is no longer the case. Currently, we only get one annual feature update that rolls out now for Windows 11. And back in the day, regarding the two updates that used to roll out in a year, the one that rolled out in the first half of the year used to be called the H1 release. And the one that rolled out in the second half of the year was called the H2 release. And obviously the letter H refers to half, which is the same pattern used by finance people to refer to the first and second halves of fiscal years. Quarters are abbreviated Q, so Q2 means second quarter as an example. So that's why Microsoft says H2 as an example, or we used to say H1. H1 rolled out in the first half, H2 rolled out in the second half. And as mentioned, you may remember that the semi-annual updates used to be called the spring and fall releases. So for example, we had the 2017 fall creators update and the 2018 spring update. So according to Chen, this is why Microsoft had the name change. Now, according to Raymond Chen, it was during an all-hands meeting that a senior executive asked if the organization had any unconscious biases. Chen says that one of my colleagues raised his hand. He grew up in the Southern Hemisphere, where the seasons are opposite from those in the Northern Hemisphere. He pointed out that naming the updates Spring and Fall shows a Northern Hemisphere bias and is not inclusive of our customers in the Southern Hemisphere. And Chen says the names of the semi-annual releases were changed the next day to be hemisphere neutral. <laughs> so I thought that was interesting. And that's the reason why, according to Microsoft veteran Raymond Chen, which I actually think makes a lot of sense. Now, while we are talking about update releases, something I personally wish Microsoft would do is Microsoft would get away naming updates as an example, 22H2 or 23H2 or 24H2, like it currently is. Seeing that we only get one annual update currently, I think Microsoft should, should just call it the Windows 11 2024 update or the Windows 11 2025 update. I think that would just make more sense. I still think the H2 causes a bit of confusion, but nonetheless, that's how Microsoft wants to do it. So that's the reason why Microsoft got rid of calling the Windows updates, Spring Creators Update or Fall Creators Update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.